Today we've got a couple of different Baofeng radio models. We've got our BFF9 V2 Plus, which represents uh, sort of the traditional Baofeng. We've also got this GT3 WP, represents uh, the newer Baofeng models. Today we're going to be talking about using the pound key to change your transmitting power on these radios. All right, so we've got a, a Baofeng GT3WP, and there is our pound key right there. And we want to give that a quick tap to change the power level. This has three levels, high, medium, low. Let me show a little close-up here of the display while I'm doing this. All right. High, medium, low. Okay, one thing you want to be aware of is if you hold down the pound key too long, it will lock the lock. keyboard. And that's what the little lock uh, key there next to the battery display shows. So if you're having problems with your keyboard working and you've used the pound key, look for that little key symbol there. It's easy to unlock. Again, we hold the pound key down. Unlock. And remember we want to just tap it to change power level. Well, next we're going to show you a couple of situations in using the pound button to change your transmitting power when the radio is in channel mode or using your save channels. Okay, the first issue you want to be aware of using the pound key to change your transmitting power is that that is not a permanent change to a saved channel. And what I mean by that is, let's look at our display. I've got repeater one, and in chirp I program that as a high power channel. You can see that there. So let's change that with the pound key to a low power channel. And we talk on it for a while. Let's say we change repeater Two, one. Three, four. Talk on that on repeater four for a while. Let's go back down three, to repeater one. Two, one. You see it's back to high power, despite the fact that we changed it with the pound key. Okay, the second thing you want to be aware of when you're using the pound key to change your transmitting power level is it's not persistent when you turn the radio off and back on. So let's look at our display here. Repeater 1, we know we've saved it as a high power channel in Sherp. We're going to use the pound key to change it to the power to low. Well, let's turn the radio off. And we're going to turn it back on. And you can see it's changed back to high power. It will always change back to whatever the power has been saved to in that channel. Next, we're going to talk about using the pound key when the radio is in frequency mode or VFO mode. Okay, we're back to our F9 V2 Plus radio for this part of the demonstration. And you can see we're in channel mode right now. Our save channels that we've programmed in Chirp. Now we're going to switch back to the frequency mode. Or the VFO mode. Whichever you want to call it. Frequency mode. Okay. You can see we're set to high power there. Get that a little closer so you can see. Now we're going to use the pound button to change that power. Now it's at medium, 
Now it's at low. Okay, unlike uh, channel mode, when you change the frequencies and change back, uh, it is persistent. So we can go up a few uh, kilohertz, go all the way down, and you can see it's maintaining the low power setting that we changed with the pound button. All right, now let's turn it off and on. And you can see in frequency mode, it maintains the power that you set with the pound button. Let's do it one more time. We'll change it to high again. We're going to go down a few kilohertz. And you can see it's maintaining high power. And we'll turn it off and on. Frequency mode. And it's still maintaining high power.